Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And as you can see today, we're going to open some posts. It's always good to have posts in cardboard because that means that there's probably something nice in here. But these, I've been waiting for these because um, these are some like very special altars made by Morgan. And I always look forward to those. He sends them to me all the way from Tasmania that's in Australia. Look at the cool stamps. We got a platypus. We get some scenery, we got some kind of lizard. It's really cool. We've got another one, River Wetland. This is this just has one stamp. This has plenty of stamps. I guess these are cheaper. Yeah, these are like 50 cent stamps. And this is one expensive, $3.50 stamp. Whoa, that's serious stuff, dude. Anyway, thank you very much for sending these. Um, I'm gonna open these last, I think, because I think what he always does is he creates these really cool alternative cards um i think last time i got uh the power nine with a metal theme which was really cool so i i think i just want to open these last it's going to start with this one and i think it has a card in here that i actually ordered when i had a couple of beers in my system let's have a look so look at this, super professional. We open it up and then we have one bubble envelope. So this can go. Very nice. So we've got one bubble envelope with I believe just one card in it because I was in Groningen at the Paladins of the North Cup and I was drinking a beer with Stebo and Aland and I believe Avert was there as well. And we were talking about uh, I think Stevo started it. I'm not sure. Was it Alan? Anyway, the point was they were talking about what cool band name can you think of with only thinking about old school cards. And um, we came up with the Dancing Scimitars, Scimitars and Casimir the Lone Wolf. So kind of by combining those. And uh, because I don't play an instrument or actually haven't played in ages, I decided to be the backup dancer. And, you know, I would be part of the Dancing Scimitars. So... I guess you can kind of guess what card is going to be in here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh, it's wrapped up. It's wrapped up. That's good. Mm, so I do need scissors. Let's see, where do I have those? They're always close by. No problem, people. There we go. More, more scissors needed. So this is the receipt. Let's have a look, exactly. And here we have the cards open up. So here you can already see it. So whoop, whoop, it's all new stuff, whatever. But look at this beauty, a dancing scimitar. How cool is that? Arabian Nights, beautiful four mana for a one five, which is actually really good. A 1-5 that's not a wall. You know, you can attack with it. You can put this in every single deck. Obvious problem here is that it's an artifact. So, you know, you can destroy it with the Shatter, a Disenchant, Divine inter uh, divine Offering. So there are just a lot of ways to get rid of this. Also, Sidney Nabala works against this one. But, I mean, just looking at a 1-5 flyer for 4 mana, that is actually really good. And I do love the art of this, but I actually don't really need the card because we were just talking about the um, the band name. So the Dancing Scimitars and Casimir the Lone Wolf. So this is the first card and now I'm gonna open up the other post, the post from Tasmania. Let me just get these new cards out of the way. So here we go. So this is the first one. So we're gonna open it up. Let's give it a try. There we go. And he always makes these special things, so I'm not sure what to expect. <laughs> yeah, look at these. Oh man. And look, you see it here, Victoria's Secrets. So this is really 90s culture, isn't it? The Victoria's Secret uh, catalog with, of course, the beautiful women. And uh, showing showing basically underwear. I, I guess this is swimwear, by the way. So we've got a Mox Jet and we've got a Mox Pearl here. 
that's just too funny. It's so cool how he how he makes this stuff. So I guess he you stick it on an original card. It's very firm. So this is the Mox Jets. It taps for one black. It it does kind of remind me of blue to be honest because of the water in the back. And I really love this line like Victoria's Secret. It would be a really great, uh, uh, what did they call that stuff again? Secret, secret layers? Would be really great for that. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. And then we have another one. There we go. I don't recognize the models or anything, so maybe they're, they're quite famous as well, I have no idea. So this is the Mox Pearl Taps for white. And I think in this one, we have the other Moxon. Again, I'm not sure, so we're just gonna open it up. Mm. Wanna be careful here. It's always opening stuff, it's difficult. Here we go. So let's have a look. And we've got two more. We've got the Mox Sapphire, the blue one, of course. And this is, of course, the Mox Ruby. Wow, really good. But that does mean I'm missing the green one. You gotta make me the green one. I need the green one. I don't have a complete set. Am I missing something? Well, maybe it's maybe there are two in here. Who knows? Let me just get these off and then we'll do a little inspection. But these are really beautiful, Morgan. I mean, you just put so much work in these. They're just a lot of fun. Oh man, this for me, this is a reason to maybe get into a format with proxies that I can just put these on the table. This is gonna be so funny. Let's see here, we've got the Mox Sapphire. Here we go, taps for blue, of course, and the Mox Ruby taps for red. So let's just get them all here together. Yeah, this looks like the perfect thumbnail for this, right? I'm so gonna, gonna back for a Mox Emerald version of this. I'll be definitely be bothering you uh, through Facebook Messenger and Instagram and whatnot, because, you know, it's understandable, I do need it. Also super happy with this one, the Dance and Scimitar, Scimitar beautiful card. Um, thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic, and I see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.